Wanderer. Take a look at you. Eyes like burning coals. Your powers are growing so fast. I'm beginning to think I'm missing out. Reckon I'll join you on this next one. Kill a few heretics, steal their power. There's plenty for both of us up on Mount Sebo. See you there, yeah? Slaves to hatred. The last thing we had in common died when you killed our mother. Let's bloody go. The bastards really are bringing hell to stay. Just... 
Your powers of observation astound. Indeed it is stronger. If I'm right, it might be burning ether. The very core of a demon's essence. You can leave this with me. Keep the triune busy while I suss it out. Well, well. I learned I was right. We found a moat of burning ether, just as our tomes describe. The black abyssal core from which a demon is reborn. Oh, very exciting. If I can harness this ether, we could crush the triune, turn the tides, even put Mephisto in his place should he rear his head again. And what do you know of such things? You rejected Mother's teachings to follow two old men and an orphan child. All that power pointed in the wrong direction. You should go. The heretics have descended on Tardulra. I'm sure the druids can't handle it.
wanderer. News? Oh yes, well, it seems that no matter how many Tryon you kill, the tides just keep rising. It seems like you need help getting the job done. Lucky for us, I've worked out a ritual to harness that burning ether. Meet me at the house. You'll want to see this. Nah, don't go getting squeamish on me now. No power comes without sacrifice, right? What would you give to stop hell, hmm? To have the power to challenge the Lord of Hatred himself? The burning ether might bestow that power, yet you fret over the cost. Oh, Wanderer, none of this is for you. You will witness me. By the blood of the willing! I am the mother's chosen! I will save her creation, not you! <laughs> Yeah. 
Watchers, 